Hi there, my name is Melanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm the owner of Lost and Found, and here on the Lost and Found YouTube channel, we talk a lot about thrifting and painting your way to a beautiful home on a budget. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you today in this makeover. I think you guys are really gonna love it and you're gonna be shocked at what I was able to pull off for under $50. So you guys, crazy story. We moved into this house a little bit over two years ago. We moved from the North Texas area and we sold our house there super fast, a little bit quicker than we were expecting. And I only had three days to come up here to Northwest Arkansas and find a house for our family of five to move into. So I spent three days looking at the few houses that were on the market, didn't really see anything great, went back to Texas and the next day, this house came on the market for sale by owner. So I sent my realtor over to look at it. She FaceTimed and walked us through the house and we wound up making an offer and buying the house without even seeing it with our own eyes. Thankfully, it's turned out really well, but there have been some style updates that I've been making on this house just as we go. It's a beautiful home on a beautiful lot, but it did feel really dark when we first moved in. And I am just not a dark fan, you guys. I like light and airy and bright. So this room right here is one of the first rooms that I decided to tackle. So another thing that I wanna let you guys know is I have never had a ton of money to use to decorate my house. I've never been able to pull off some big, huge renovation. I have had to piecemeal together our home really thrifting and painting our way to a beautiful home on a budget. And so this project that I'm gonna show you today is no different. You guys, I think it cost me maybe $50, all the materials included, to pull off this amazing makeover. And even more amazing, I only used paint. So there was no demo, no construction done. All of this was just done with paint and a little bit of time. So. I think paint is a great solution when you're kind of strapped for cash and you want to update things in your house. You would be surprised at what you can change with just a jar of paint. So this was the fireplace in our living room. I was not a fan of that orangey wood and I was definitely not a fan of that dark granite. I decided that I was going to use some paint to transform the space. So let me show you how I did it. So my very first step was to do all of the prep work that I needed to do. I always, always, always use this cleaner when I am cleaning things that I'm getting ready to paint. It's the Fusion Mineral Paint TSP Alternative. And I love it because one, it's highly concentrated. It's just two little capfuls into a liter of water. It's also non-toxic and it's not um, harsh on your skin like regular TSP from the store, the hardware store can be this uh, spray it down wipe it off and it'll get all of that grease and grime and build up so i cleaned the surface i scuff sanded it and then i applied a coat of primer to the tiles and also to the actual mantle and the fireplace surround so this is what it looked like after the first coat of primer was on now if you look up at the center of the mantle I did have some issues with my primer not wanting to adhere. And I think it has to do with maybe some chemicals that came up um, from when the fireplace was run from the gas fumes maybe that would come. I'm not completely sure. So what I had to do was apply two coats of the Fusion Ultra Grip, which is a pure acrylic. And then I painted on more primer and eventually my primer stuck. Once my primer dried for just a couple days, I started the process of painting the actual granite tiles. They got a base coat of a light color, and then I used a stencil that I purchased from Amazon to start adding the design. A couple of helpful tips for the stenciling. 
I started with any of the pieces that were full tiles in the middle and worked my way around. And I also bought an extra stencil so that once I got to the edge, I would have another one to work with as I trimmed up the pieces to fit. I'm not gonna lie you guys, it did take some time, but I just worked on it a little bit each day. And once it was finished, it looked so incredible that it was totally worth the time. After I did all the stenciling, then I painted the actual fireplace surround with more fusion mineral paint. So here are the three colors that I used for this makeover. First, the fireplace and mantle is painted in fusion mineral paint Algonquin. Beautiful, just neutral, but not too dark color. And then the background of the tiles is a fusion mineral paint Chateau. This is one of their new colors and it's just a really neutral off white. It isn't too bright. I tried a bright white at first and decided it was just way too bright and too stark and I wanted something that would blend in and be a little bit softer. And then the pattern on the tiles is fusion mineral paint soapstone. Love this color beautiful dark gray that definitely has some blue in it and I have blue in the rest of my living room so that I knew that it would play really well with the rest of everything else that I have in the space. Are you inspired? I hope that you were. If you're a lover of cottage style decor or vintage style decor, this is a makeover that you can pull off yourself. We have all of these products in my online store. Uh, love representing fusion mineral paint. It's a fantastic paint to work with and I love using it in my home. And there's more projects to come. I'm not done. I'm kind of done with this room, but I'm not done with other rooms in the house. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave us a like. And of course, I would love to invite you to subscribe, be a part of the Lost and Found community. I'm always painting, I'm always thrifting, always working towards that more beautiful home, and I'd love to bring you guys along with me. Thanks for joining today. See you again soon.